Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are done and dusted with Halloween and it's time for Christmas now. In this video, we are going to make a Christmas stocking. So it was going to make a beautiful Christmas tree ornament or you can even make garlands with it. I already have a few more Christmas ornaments, Christmas tree ornaments on my channel. I'll be linking them in the description box below. Also, I would like to add that this stocking is actually functional, so you can stuff it with some mini treats as well. I'll be linking everything that I'm using uh, for making this in the description box below. If you like my videos and if you like my work, feel free to give me a super thanks. Now, this helps us sustain our work and helps us provide you with the free content that we do. Now, everything being said, let's jump right into the video. To begin with, we are first going to make a magic ring. For that, we are going to make this X on our fingers. And we are going to insert a hook like that. Make a loop. And we are going to make a loop out of it like that. Now, I have a separate detailed video on how to make a magic ring. I will be linking it in the description box below. And now we are going to make a single crochet in that ring. So this is our first single crochet. Okay. Now we are going to pull that string a bit so that it's easier for us to make stitches and we're going to make five more single crochets in that ring. So in total we'll have six single crochets in that magic ring. Now a lot of people find making a magic ring very difficult but trust me guys it's very easy you can go follow the uh, video that I'll be linking in the description box below it is very easy to make a magic ring. And once we are done making our six single crochets we are going to pull that string nice and tight so that there are no gaps and in the very first single crochet that we made we are going to make a slip stitch insert a hook in that very first stitch yarn over and pull through and pull through that loop as well so we have made our uh, first six single crochets now for row two we are again going to make single crochets for that we are going to chain one and in the first single crochet we are going to make two single crochets two more so our round one consisted of six single crochets and our round two is going to be 12 single crochets so two single crochets in each one Again, we are going to make two single crochets. And this is how we increase. This stocking actually needs very basic stitches which is uh, chains and single crochets. So few more left. will be done with our row 2. Here we are at the end of our row 2 and we are just going to make a slip stitch in the very first single crochet that we made. So we have a, a total of 12 double crochets now. We are going to chain 1 and for our row 3 we are going to make 2 single crochets in the alternate stitches. So in the first stitch we are going to make one single crochet and now in the next 
next stitch we are going to make a two single crochets Again in the next stitch we are just going to make one single crochet. In the next one two single crochets. So you see that we are making two single crochets in every alternate uh, stitch that we made. Now this is because if you make two single crochets in every uh, stitch that we had made earlier it won't the circle won't lie flat so this is the technique we use to increase in our row 2 we had 12 uh, stitches and in the row 3 we are going to have 18 stitches so row 1 was 6 row 2 was 12 and row 3 is 18 single crochets And this is the last uh, row in which we are going to increase. If you want a bigger stocking, you can obviously make one more row of increase. And now we are going to make a slip stitch in the very last stitch like this and this completes our row 3 and the final row of increase now we're going to chain 2 and now our uh, rows will be of half double crochets we're going to make a half double crochet in that very stitch in the very first stitch in the next stitch again we are going to make a one half double crochet so row 4 is going to be all half double crochets so in total um, 18 half double crochets now i'll just make this row with uh, you guys one in each row no increase this time now I like to use a double half double crochets because it adds a little bit of dimension like it adds a little bit of thickness to your stocking otherwise just with single crochets uh, it won't be as uh, as I, I don't know as nice as it is with half double crochets it will be quite holy actually going to make the last half double crochet the 18th half double crochet and we're going to make a slip stitch in the very first half double crochet that we made Oops. yeah you see our circle has already started to you know curve up now we are again going to start with chain 2 and we are going to make half double crochets all around. Now this is our second row of half double crochets. We are going to make 5 more rows like 6 in total. We have already made 1 row of half double crochets and we are going to make 5 more rows of half double crochets. 18 in each row. Now I'm just going to continue making my half double crochet rows and I'll see you once I'm done. Now we are done with our six rows. We are going to chain one now 
and in the very same stitch we are going to make one single crochet in the next two stitches we are going to make one half double crochet each so this is one and our second half double crochet in the next stitch now in the next three stitches we are going to make one double crochet each this is the heel of our stocking we're going to make one double crochet each in the next three stitches now this is actually like we are, we are going to work in the nine stitches for the heel so in total we have 18 stitches and we're going to work in half of them for the heel in the next two stitches half double crochets one half double crochet each in the next two stitches and in the last stitch we are going to make one single crochet now we are going to chain one for our next row and we are going to turn around our work now we are going to skip that very first stitch and in the second stitch from our hoop we are going to make one single crochet in the next stitch we are going to make one half double crochet we are going to decrease now for that we have skipped that first stitch and now in the next three stitches we are going to make one double crochet each now in the next stitch we are going to make one half double crochet and in the next stitch we are going to make one single crochet now this completes our row 2 of the increase now we're going to chain one and turn around our work again and now we are going to skip that uh, very first chain and in the second stitch we are going to make a half double crochet in the next three stitches we are going to make one double crochet each now this row is going to consist of five uh, stitches in total and this is the last uh, row of our decrease and this is a third uh, double crochet and now in the next stitch we are going to make a one half double crochet and this completes our heel you can see how is it looking and now we are just going to make a row of a single crochets for that we are going to chain one turn around and in all the five stitches we are going to make one single crochet each now we are going to continue making half double crochets for that we are going to chain two and we're going to turn around and in the five stitches we are going to make five half double crochets first so this is our first double crochet half double crochet we'll make a second half double crochet a third half double crochet so in total now we we will need 18 half double crochets to continue making our stocking as we did earlier fourth and this 
is our fifth half double crochet now you see that tall um, edge that has been made because of a decrease we are going to make two half double crochets in it so we'll uh, randomly place a half double crochet in between and at the edge of our uh, stitches we are going to make one more half double crochet just to bring it close and close the whole decrease so this is our second half double crochet in that tall stitch and now in the next nine stitches we are going to make nine half double crochets this is pretty simple it's just one half double crochet in each next nine stitches Now the part where we want to make two half double crochets in that tall uh, decrease part that is the tricky part there you have to actually carefully place the two half double crochets in between uh, the stitches the aim is that we want to have a total of 18 uh, stitches again So I'm just uh, making this row along with you so that you can you know watch how to bring uh, together the stitches and that there's no confusion and this is stitch and now we are going to make two half double crochets for that we'll make one stitch at the edge right there and we're going to make one more stitch in the middle over there Now we are going to make a slip stitch uh, in the very first double half double crochet that we have made. This completes our row of half double crochets and uh, you can count we have a total of 18 half double crochets now. Now it gets pretty simple we just have to make more rows of one half double crochet each uh, in the 18 stitches. We have made these rows earlier okay? We are at the end of our row and we are going to make a slip stitch now again this is going to be 18 half double crochets you can see this uh, stocking forming already right now we're just going to add up more rows of 18 half double crochets each I'm going to make a total of nine such rows here we have made our nine rows of half double crochet and this is how our uh, stocking should look like and now we're going to make a cuff for our stocking with white colored yarn for that we're going to insert our hook in one of the uh, 18 stitches 
and we're going to pull through with the white yarn and now we're going to start chaining we're going to make a total of 11 chains so that is going to be 10 plus 1 is our 11th stitch and now we're going to make 10 single crochets so we'll skip that first chain and in the second chain from our hook we're going to make one single crochet in the next stitch again we're going to make one single crochet In the next stitch again we're going to make one single crochet three four five and in the next stitch sixth seventh Eight, nine, and the last one, ten. And now we are going to make a slip stitch in that very stitch, in the same stitch. We make a slip stitch. Now we are going to make a slip stitch in the next stitch like this and we are going to make a row of single crochets only in the back loop only in the back loops of our uh, stitches so this is our first single crochet now in the back loop of our second single crochet we are again going to make one single crochet now this is going to create a very nice ribbing for our cuff remember to do it only in the back stitches you see that sort of V uh, our stitch creates we have to uh, go into the back, st uh, back loop of that V stitch. We're going to have 10 such single crochets in this row as well. And this is our last single crochet. Now we are going to chain one and we're going to turn around our work and now again in the back loops of our stitches we are going to make single crochets obviously we'll have 10 single crochets again After completing our 10 single crochets, we are going to make a slip stitch in the next row. Now again we are going to make a slip stitch in the next row, like this. And we are again going to start making single crochets in the back loop only. This is how we will have 18 such rows of single crochets done only in the back loop so I'm just going to continue doing this and I'm going to join these um, rows so on um, my 18th row I'll, I'll join my 18th row to the first row with simple slip stitches I'm going to complete doing this and I'll see you once I'm done 
here you can see that we are done making our 18 uh, rows and I have uh, simply stitched them together and now we are going to fold our uh, cuff like this. See how pretty it looks and our Christmas stocking is ready. You can stuff your treats in there. And you can attach a loop over there so that you can make a, a Christmas tree ornament out of it or attach it to a garland. Once done, our mini Christmas stocking should somewhat look like this. Thanks for watching my video. If you do like my video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Happy crocheting!